Hello friends, and welcome to another Friday here on the channel, which means it's time for another demo day with me, Jake Shenanigans. I apologize if I seem a little weeby. I just finished the true ending on Undertale, and it was, it was very sad and beautiful. I don't know what it is with these indie games lately. With Undertale, and then the way that Owlboy finishes, and in Seasons After Fall, which I played a while ago, but that ending still, like, I don't know what it is about these indie adventure games that just make me want to cry, but, uh, keep hitting me deep, and it's sad, but that's not even closely related to what today's about. Today, <clears throat> today is about this awesome demo from Steam, a new game that just came out. Um, I'm going to call it Renoir. It, it might be Renoir, actually, but I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> but it is an action-adventure puzzle platformer. Uh, and the story of it is that you are a detective in the 1940s, and the case you're trying to solve is your own murder. Intrigue! So, I'm excited to get started and see what this game is all about. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good one. I think it will be. So, here we go. Some Renoir. Or Renoir. I don't know, because I think it's his last name, so I'm not really sure, like, which... Uh, here. You know, they got a saying in the city. You're never really untouchable until you're dead. I always knew burning a candle from both ends would put me in the ground sooner or later. The thing is... I always figured being dead would be the end of my problems. It's like having a hangover you can't shake. You know something happened the night before, but you can't quite put it together. Every time you think about it, you feel like you're gonna pass out. more of those, I might as well close the case on this one. On the other hand, clearly I'm not that lucky. You know, the most difficult premise here is... Like... It doesn't explain... Right. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, let's definitely do that. It doesn't explain how he's here. I was really hoping that the opening of the game would explain why the dead detective is able to investigate his own death. But apparently, that is not the case. Uh, I hate so we're just going to lightly jog? Guy lives a good life, and now he's dead, crawling around a cemetery. Light sources can kill you. I don't understand the premise here. <laughs> Why can light sources kill you? Give me a little backstory. I want to know. Clear. Whoa. Is this press tab to start selection of ghosts press enter to start recording climb on the ladder oh okay so press E to interact with the trigger Press enter again to stop recording. Press enter to play back your record. Okay, so it's a time travel platform puzzler. It's it's basically the same premise as 
is, um, oh, what's that one called? There was one, well, hold on. Let me get through here. Sprint dude. Does he eventually disappear, or how does that work? All right, whatever. I guess it's just gonna stay. Not sure what's going on here, but I'm starting to see how I can use it. Yeah, I'm confused too. I'm very confused. Anyway, what I was gonna say is it reminds me, Chroma, Chromaton. Is that what it's called? There's a flash game you can play online. No wings. That's um. Basically a puzzle platformer like this, but you play as a robot who keeps traveling back in time and you have to figure out the puzzle by constantly creating these time loops of yourself until eventually I guess I should thank someone for not fixing these. Uh until eventually you solve the puzzle. Sorry. Focusing on running through lights here. I'm just, I'm intrigued by the story here. So, oh. Dead guy can't catch a break. Make a record of the ghost and free up road for James. Press L to see connection between two objects on the screen. Okay. So. That does nothing. Okay, uh, so it was, no, tab to get to ghosts. These controls are kind of weird too. Um, then you start recording. Okay, and then you press E to interact, and that turns off, and then stop recording, and then start recording again. <sighs> oh. How does that make sense? Okay. I'm confused. So he... Alright. So the ghost can't walk through the light? Is that the premise here? Okay. confused because if he can't if James can't hold the button then how's the ghost supposed to get through okay there we go all right that's what we needed okay so we can't affect it you just have to like hold it down That confused me because for the other ghost, all you have to do is just tap it. You don't actually have to hold it down. Okay. So we're done with that recording. So they make it through. getting the hang of this. Yeah. 
Okay. New thing. That's fun. Okay. So, ghost. Do its thing. Thanks for the lift. Good Sweet. old fashioned teamwork. I am glad that one of the features is that after you pull the lever, if he's still pulling the lever when you end the recording, he just stays there. Because if if he like disappears after you end the recording, like if I was standing there for two seconds and he just disappeared after two seconds, that could suck. <laughs> that could be awful. There's a lot to deal with here. And there's a police car. I mean, the scenery isn't too bad. You got the awesome city in the background. And all of that. It's just... There's... Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um. Dude. Why don't you go on over? You hit that switch. Sweet. Okay. So we need you to go ahead and play. I always wanted to do that. Ah, no. That's difficult. There's a lot to do there. All right. So, okay. Whoops. Okay. So he needs to go over. He needs to hit that switch. Like that. Sweet. Okay. <sighs> okay, so spin this. Go ahead and get him over there. It's the switch. Nope. Go back. Oh, no. Dang it. That's really hard, because he doesn't move fast, and there's not... Okay. Okay. First. Okay. Record this ghost. Hit that switch. Okay. Nope. Okay. Open that. Now you can go. the switch. Go, 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 go. Slide down. Sprint, 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 sprint. Let's see where this goes. Okay. Oh. Well, this is unhelpful. Alright. Okay. He's going to make it through there. Then you're going to pull that lever. Yeah. Sure. Alright, fair enough. Um, Okay. So 
So you go ahead and play. Nope, hold it down. Okay, I didn't think this through clearly. Okay. So, let's re record you. So you can slide down and then turn those out. He slides down and turns out those lights. Sweet. Oh goodness. Okay. Then enter the door. How long is this demo exactly? <laughs> okay. I wasn't quite sure how long that demo was. But uh, I just decided to go ahead and go ahead and let it be because <laughs> we were already pretty deep into it and I don't know how many levels like the levels just kept coming. So anyway, that's that's Renoir or Renoir. I never did figure out how to say it. It's it's interesting. I just I guess I just don't understand what the story is. I mean. I assume, given that the premise is you're solving your own murder, that there must be a story there. But I am at a loss what it is. <laughs> like, you're a ghost, you control other ghosts, light kills you. Lots of weird things are happening. It's, it's all very strange. Um, that being said, it's... I mean, it it's a puzzle platformer. I mean, if you like those, that's fine. I'm... I don't know. The other thing for me is whenever you have these ones where you have to record... Like, earlier I mentioned that that Chrome... That Chronobot... Chronoton, whatever it's called. Um, I, I eventually got frustrated with that game because you had to make so many copies of yourself to get stuff done. It was ridiculous to keep track of. This is kind of like that, having to record all these ghosts to like do stuff for you and then making sure that everything's the way it should be, it gets to the point of being like ridiculous after a while. So it's not, it's not really my kind of game, but being said, if you enjoy this sort of platformer, then I would definitely suggest checking it out. I think I think the biggest thing for me is I was just really curious as to the story and I don't really get any of the story demo. So, um, yeah, that that's yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on Renoir. You can of course find it on Steam. Uh, let me see if I can. I'll I'll post the link below too, of course. Um, but for a little more information for you guys, this was created by Blackwing Foundation, the developer, and it is currently released. It, has, it is already released on Steam. It is currently on Steam for $16.99. It's on sale until November 23rd. So, if this looks like something that you'd like to check out, you can, of course, download the demo. That's free. And then, if you really like it, you can, you can buy the game. So... Definitely go check it out over on Steam. And as I said, I'll leave a link below. That pretty much wraps it up for Demo Day this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can totally leave a like down below. Comments, positive or negative, you can leave them all below. I do try to read and respond to them all. But more than anything, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, or whenever you happen to be watching. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until the next time, this is Janky Shenanigans, signing out. I'm going to have to cut so much of this out. It's... Oh my god. We'll get there. Oh.
That's gonna be a whole rant unto itself. Oh look, a room full of explosives. But that got silly real fast. Fiddlesticks is the worst. That was my muffled scream noise, by the way. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. People here are weird. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.